everybody. Okay, I'm going to try to make this quick. When I tell you the topic of this video, you're going to think it's boring, but you are not allowed to switch off because it's important. And it's actually interesting, and you really need to know this. Okay? Promise, you are not going to turn this off when I tell you the topic, okay? Promise. <laughs> okay, light bulb. <laughs> yes, I'm serious. Light bulb. Light bulb. Yeah. Okay. All right. Where to start? Okay. Typical light bulb we're used to seeing forever now. And I am very particular about my light bulbs. I must have 100 watt GE soft white light bulb. Yes, I realize 100 watt is strong and it uses more energy. But guess what? I want to see. <laughs> and when you're making a video, I have four lights on in the room right now. I usually have two on. Um, and the two others that come from the sides are just so that I have balance to the light. I hate having a, a video when it's all like black behind you and out of whack and all that. Okay. Anyway. On with the subject because I want to go to bed. <laughs> Okay, this is the kind of light bulb we've been using forever. Okay, so one day I come home from work and I hit the switch and the light doesn't come on. I'm like, what the heck? And then it comes on. There was a hesitation. I'm like, what the heck's up with the lights? Um, after it happened a few times, I asked my husband, like, did you do something to the lights? And he's like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. L for liar. <laughs> I swear to God, the things he does. <laughs> he knows I won't let him mess with stuff, especially if it's in, like, my office. He came in my office, okay, and changed out my light bulbs, all right? He changed them out to these, which is the kind that the government and the light companies are all trying to get everyone to switch to. Supposedly part of the whole going green thing. All right, I'm all for the going green stuff. I'm, I blog about it on my real estate blog all the time. However, I know some facts about this light bulb that are not good, okay? And I'm going to share those with you. I was in Super Walmart again today, and I knew this already, but I wanted to verify it. I wanted to see if they actually had it on the box, and they did. I pick up the box, and it says, warning, contains mercury. I'm not going to go into all the details of mercury because I'm going to try to keep this short. Mercury is poisonous, highly poisonous, nasty stuff, okay? It's in these light bulbs that we're now supposed to use because they are last three times longer than these, okay? They do. They last three times longer. I'm going to put a link in the side over here specifically to the information about the light bulb, okay? But I'm going to read you some of it first. Alrighty. I'm reading from my laptop because my desktop is running my game. <laughs> yeah. I didn't stop being a geek. Okay. These are referred to as CFLs. It is CFL, carbon fluorescent lamp. It confirms, yes, it contains mercury, a dangerous substance. While mercury stays safely contained in intact CFL, CFL it escapes from broken CFLs into the immediate surroundings, okay? So if you break a bulb, you've now released mercury into your home or into your, the room wherever the bulb broke, okay? And there is a specific procedure to be followed now to clean up the bulb. They're not telling everybody this. It is aggravating me to no end, so I'm making this video. So, the amount of mercury in one of these bulbs is not high, okay? It's not. However, it can build up. It, it can build up in your home, in your body. That was the problem years ago. When I was in Walmart today, I was talking to a lady and her daughter who were on the same aisle as I was looking at the light bulbs and they were putting these in their cart. I, could, I couldn't stand that I had to tell her about it. And 
we were talking about, you know, how mercury used to be in tooth fillings and then they stopped using it there because they found that it was poisoning people. Uh, right now, they're putting them in the light bulbs. They give you specific procedures for cleaning them up, but we don't know the long-term ramifications. We do know the long-term ramifications for mercury. We just don't know what is going to happen with the light bulb. So, what, 20 years from now when we're having people having children with birth defects, the government's going to go, oops, sorry, our bad. We're, we're discontinuing those. Go back to the old kind. Um, I'm going to contain myself. I'm not going to get going. It's too bad, okay? Um, okay, here we go. I'm going to skip around and just leave sm read small portions of this. Like batteries, used CFL, this is a CFL, need to be disposed at a toxic waste depot. I'm reading this from Snopes.com. They do the research for you and put it all in one place so you can find it. You can't throw them in the trash can. If you break one of these, have people and pets leave the room. Do not let anyone walk through the breakage area on their way out. Open a window and leave the room for 15 minutes or more. Shut off the central forced air heating or an air conditioning system if you have one. So if you have central heat and air, turn it off. This bulb right here, okay? Carefully scoop up glass fragments and powder because the mercury is in a powder form when it falls and poops all over the place so you can inhale it. Using stiff paper or cardboard and place them in a glass jar with metal lid such as a canning jar or in a sealed plastic bag. Use sticky tape such as duct tape to pick up any remaining small glass fragments and and powder. Do not use a vacuum or broom to clean up the broken bulb on hard surfaces. Uh, and then take it to a toxic waste dump. The only upside of this is Lowe's will take them for you. You can return them to Lowe's and Lowe's will handle it for you. And we can just hope that Lowe's is going to do the right thing with them. You cannot throw these in the trash can. This is supposed to be making things better. You know, going green. There's more. Like I said, links in the side. Read it. Educate yourself. I know this is not my normal type of blog, but I can't stand it. I, I, I just can't stand people using these blogs. And yes, these are in my house because my husband bought them and he will not listen to me. He did look it up and that's how I know that you can return them to Lowe's because he, I, I think I sent him some links about the problems with the mercury in them. So, so these have mercury. Um, I bought all the ones in our Walmart. I have eight boxes now of 100 watt GE soft white light bulb. <laughs> Okay, guys, um, educate yourself, seriously, because this is big time. It says to get the pets out of the room. Turn off the air conditioning. Uh, do not enter the room for at least 15 minutes. Uh, put it, it has to go to a toxic waste dump. I mean, this is serious stuff. Seriously. Okay? Uh, comments. What do you think about it? Bye.